Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be talking about visual shaders and UV basics. So if you watched the previous video on UVs, you should know how to tile and how to offset. But I want to try and understand this a little bit more. So if we apply a vector decompose to our UV input, if you look at the X and the Y, you'll notice that they're both gradients, going from black to white, or from zero to one. We can kind of look at this like a coordinate system with them combined. So in the upper left, we have zero, zero, in the bottom right, we have 1, 1. If we add to our x and y, we're going to be offsetting our UVs, or we're going to be changing the UV center. As we add to the x, it's going to be moving it from right to left. And if we subtract from it, it's going to be moving it from left to right. If we add to the y, it's going to be moving it from bottom to top. And if we subtract from it, it's going to be moving it from top to bottom. Now with multiply, if we multiply by zero, we're going to get nothing. So you have to multiply by at least 0 0.0001 to get something. But what you'll notice is as we scale up the x, it's scaling it from right to left. And it's kind of crushing it down. And then if we scale the y, it's going to be crushing it up to the top. And that's because it's being scaled to the UV center, or 0, 0. Now what's interesting about this is if you change this to power, we're gonna get the opposite result. As you scale this up, it's gonna be crushing it over to the right. And as you scale up the Y, it's gonna be crushing it down, kind of giving us a squash and stretch result. Now say that I wanted to squash and stretch this from this point right here, straight down the middle. Our Y is already doing that for me, but our X isn't. So in this case, we need to move the UV center. We need to move the zero, zero point. And the way that we do that is by adding and we're gonna add halfway in by 0.5. If I plug that in, visually you'll see that it's offset now, but if I scale this, you'll see that it's scaling from the center. So to fix that visually, we need to subtract that again after our power. So now you'll see it's actually scaling from the center. Now if you don't want this to tile or wrap around, you're gonna to wanna to go to your import settings for your texture, and you wanna go down to repeat under flags, and you want to change it from enabled to disabled, and then you want to re-import. And you'll see for the most part, those artifacts are gone. I might have some in here because I didn't erase them out of the texture, but that's fine. Now with all that said, if you don't need to separately control the X and the Y, you don't have to decompose it. You can use a vector add, and from here you can plug in a scalar uniform or a scalar constant, and it'll just affect each one of those channels. It'll be pushing it up into the left or down into the right if you're doing an add. And if you're doing a multiply, once again, it'll just tile both of those coordinates for you if your texture's repeat is enabled. From here, I recommend playing with the other operators to see what kind of interesting results you can get. All right, guys, that covers visual shaders and UV basics. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.